Certain meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with House Bill number 58 of the 193rd General Court, which extended the governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, MGL Chapter 38, Section 20, until March 31st, 2025. Meetings are typically broadcast on FCAT and are available on YouTube. So with that, um, Tim, so I think we, we just got meeting minutes, Charles. Yep. Yes, I just forwarded the, the meeting minutes from our last previous meeting, two meetings. Yeah, there were two of them, right? And I, I don't have my, um, but I'm, if you have the dates, I'll make a motion to, because I, I read yeah. them, I, I didn't yeah. see it. I did. Yeah. Char yeah, Charles, do you have the dates? Um, uh, one was uh, August 30th and one was September 20th. Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of uh, August 30th as written. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of uh, September 20th as written. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, thank you. You. Okay, and then uh, the main purpose of this meeting is just to go over uh, updated presentation for Tuesday, our second public meeting. So, Charles, I'll I'll stop sharing. I don't. Are you guys going to bring up your slides? Sure. Yep. Let me make um, it co-host. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Is Dan joining us here today? He was invited. Um, I didn't hear back from him, so I'm not sure he's going to be able to join. He might. Okay. All right. All right. Well, so so our 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 basic presentation is not changing. Let me just make sure that PDF up here. So we, you know, we've we've. I guess we should change the date on here. Yeah. I guess it's October second is going to be the date. I think, and then we're going to go through. First the same day. is it October first? Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Um. So we're going to go through the same information. It's um. Jeff's going to get us a revised site plan that shows um not doing this curb cut and parking along the west side of the building, but including just the sidewalk here, this entrance terrace, and then sort of re doing you know I guess re maintaining this parking here on the north side with restriping along the southern edge of that park. And then, uh, so it'll also include, so the demo that's required from the existing driveway asphalt paving off of Conway Street and re 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 reloaming and, and reseeding this, this, this area here. We'll maintain the connection through here to the police and town offices. This will all this will all show as well. And we'll be able to maintain this tree for now. One you can see ghosted in lately. Yeah, so, I, I, just, I just want to check. I mean, the police actually currently use um, they go out onto Conway Street from the existing uh, asphalt that's there, but that's going to be that's under the the new building lot. Right, right. right. So it's got to go. Um, so we, it, we, it, 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 I mean, it could it could be reworked. I mean, you can see the line of the existing paving. It comes around here, like comes around here. Right. I think the existing curb cut is actually here. So, you know, it would have to be read. You would have to redirect it around and up. And at that point, right. you might as well just do this and. Get that right. This parking. I'm I'm trying to think that what I probably should do is go over and talk to Chief Pachorek and say, look, you know, do you guys need to maintain access from here? In which case, that's a police expense. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. Or. Yeah. I mean. Or there's or there there or there is a master plan in place that yeah. this is where this is this is like where we're ultimately going to wind up, but it might not be this for the foreseeable future or whenever it is that sort of 
the town gets all of this organized on the okay. same page. The so, master plan is. So let's talk about that. I mean, I, I know I was the advocate for getting rid of it, but uh, at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, it's obvious that the police are going to want to be able to go on either side. So um, maybe it's better to explain this in the context of we're not exactly sure how this this portion of the, the parking access to the uh, Conway Street is going to be because that's the subject of a wider discussion about parking in the campus. Right. Um, I mean, yeah. So right now, the cost estimate doesn't include right. this. this this work right we, we pulled that out right and you had suggested putting a box around you know the the actual old building new building and the reestablished lawn or something and maybe that's an alternative what do people think as far as like just being able to explain to folks this could be this way but it may not be this way because we have to work with the police department to figure right. out them. yeah I, I i think we just need to emphasize that you know, the actual surrounding site work beyond what we just mentioned in terms of really tight around the building is kind of TBD at this point. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I'm, I'm going to, I got to let Jeff know he doesn't have to redo his site plan at this point. Maybe just put that border around here. Yeah. And just, you know, call, call it, you know, scope of work or this yeah. phase. Yeah. Scope of work is better. Don't talk yeah. about faces. Just ask me where that yeah. money comes from. All know. right, just just all right, scope of work it is. And, and we'll include basically I gotta call them to the room because I'm gonna have to touch base over there. Thanks. Uh, well, so we'll include, you know, this area. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Um you know, I think I think it was. We'll you know we'll we'll review the plans, the elevations again, and the 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 big thing we've 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 done is we've um we've created some additional views. We've created we've created three versions of this view with, that shows different colors, potential color schemes. And what I think it's important for people to know is that, you know, um. Wait a second here. I'm sorry. Stop share. New share. We also toned down the white on that version. Um, we kind of made it like a, you know, just a soft off white. <laughs> so it was right. like layering, you know. Right. So we've toned down the white. I think it's important for people to realize that, you know, these images are going to look different on everybody's screen and they're going to look different on depending on the printer that they're printed on. So they're, 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 they're conceptual. And that when we go through the design process, we'll be working with the design committee with actual samples, you know, color samples, material samples, and we'll look at them in natural light. And we'll make, we'll, we'll make, you know, a, a, an informed decision that way. But, you know, I think that we can, we've done these, these other versions um, to show people a range of possible tones and these are all kind of based on you know the benjamin moore historic color palette so they're you know they're 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 muted they're desaturated they have a they have a certain kind of tonality which is which i think works um generally as in as historic structures the idea is sort of similar to what we're doing here in the in this version here is keeping the uh the trim and the body and the body of this the main building, all one color, so as not to keep things too busy, and then and then maintaining sort of this gray putty color for the articulation of the corner and the columns and this sort of porch roof freeze board. So we so have a green is, version. Yes. So the, pre the previous one, you it looks like one side is still white. Is that purposeful or is that it's just something? This is. It's just the way the light hits the model, and there's really nothing we we can't do much about that in terms of the way this this. this I'm just anticipating a question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is this going to be? Well, no, I think that's where we say that you know, 
in, yeah. in, actu in actuality, in real life, the building, the tonality of the color of the building is going to change during the course of the day. And this this right. side of the building faces south, and in the late afternoon, this side is going to be brighter than this side. Yeah. The reality right. of the way light functions. Yeah. So I think we just, I, th I think we have to help people through that and just let them know that these are, you know, these are these are facsimiles of what we're going to experience in actuality. The right. light's going to constantly be changing. Right. But you're right. It, it does. This this looks a lot. This doesn't looks like it might be a brighter white than this, but the same white. That's interesting. Yep. The eye perceives it. We got a green version, um, which which I kind of like. I like both the green and the blue actually. I think they. Mm -hmm. It does it. I think they contrast nicely with the, the white church in the background and the red building. They are a building, and this is this is a version uh, that was supposed to be yellow. For some reason, it rendered more of a pumpkin orange. But so don't be don't be alarmed. We can we can work on this, but to make it more of a historic yellow. But that's that's the idea. You use lose this one. <laughs> no, I mean it's yeah. It's I mean maybe. I I mean, maybe we just need these two. We you know we got the white one, the toned down white, and the blue and the green. It's probably nice. enough. Yeah. Although you know, having one that everybody's just going to go, "Oh my God, that's awful." <laughs> right. That that's the what? That's the red. What's it called there? Um, the red herring or whatever. Yeah, it's something like that. that. It's the sacrificial lamb. I don't know. Whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, but I I, I want to put out something that's at least credible. So we'll. Well, um, and with the we'll, blue we'll and the work. green, with the blue and the green, we would tie that back to the original building too, with the trim paint. Like the it's green now, so the green version kind of ties in with that. If we if we went with blue, we would change the existing building trim to blue. Mm -hmm. Well, just so it all kind of makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the pumpkin, the pumpkin. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> well, yeah. we can. We can, we can either. I th I think what we do is we just get rid of this option. We just we present the white option, the green option, the blue option, and that lets people know we're flexible. We're thinking about different ideas. It's a conversation. It's going to be ongoing. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to necessarily invite the whole debate and conversation <laughs> to the group, right? I mean. Yeah. It was a topic well, of conversation I, last time. We were trying to think of a way to to review it without opening it up for right. you know, debate. Right. I mean, I think I think what we can say is that you know we the the yeah. the one concern that people had was the color. So we've done these two studies that show what different colors look like on the building. It's an ongoing conversation. And we don't have to invite any more sort of input than that necessarily. Yeah. You know, people are free. People are free to comment, but yeah, I think that we can present it as this is an on. Yeah. Um. So we'll you know we'll weave those in to. Uh, um. Our presentation. No, wrong, wrong PDFs. And it's new shit. And then, and then, I guess at some point in here, we'll we'll insert probably at the end of maybe um, P 3s cost estimate or, or or budget, which includes our cost estimate. Yeah, and, and right? Julie, yeah, Julie Telfon, who's not here, obviously. Uh, did a nice job at the finance committee meeting this week, kind of boiling that down. Um, so I'm going to ask her to send you guys what she she did there because I think it'll okay, great. Be much easier for people to absorb than P3's detailed cost estimate. Okay, that sounds good. I can't. I don't actually have a copy of it. I just I just saw it. The oh. <laughs> she only presented it, so okay. so yeah. But I'll, I, I'll reach out there yeah, and make sure she's right. I have an early version of it, but it's got wrong percentages. And so you get the right one. Yeah. We're, I can't, you weren't at the finance. I couldn't, yeah. yeah. I tried to dial in afterwards, but I. Oh, here, and uh, here's Dan right on cue. 
Right. Yeah, I think just get us whatever information you want us to include in the in the presentation, you know, by oh. the middle of the day, Tuesday. Hey, Dan. Hi, sorry, I'm late. It's all right. And we'll we'll get that in the presentation. Okay. Yeah, Dan, we 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 just went through the uh the presentation quickly and um it's it's basically gonna be the same as it was last time around with the additional color studies we've done. Nice. Just, Dancing yeah. those colors. I'll, I'll run them. Let me run through them quickly. Yeah. Um, Let's see, see if we all react the same way. <laughs> <laughs> is this a test, Tim? Yeah, it's, yes. a, it's a test. So this is this is the the white version. Karen toned yeah. down the white a little bit, but so but you know it's still it's brighter on the south facing side naturally because that's where the sun's coming from. But it is toned down. Uh, then we have a, a, a sort of a historic green version where we're maintaining a solid body color with the trim sort of all tying together and then this gray putty tone for the for the porch columns and, and the corner. We have a blue version. And it's doing the same kind of thing with a different color. And we have the pumpkin spice color here. Sort of throw people off. We're gonna we're gonna we're actually gonna take this 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 um version and tone it down a little bit to make it more like a historic yellow than this orangey yellow. It's just the way it came out. There. Or actually, what we talked about doing was was omitting this slide altogether and just having the, these three slides that, that show a range of options and how they appear on the building. Yeah, so we'll have these three options, and and we'll let the public know that. This is in, this is in response to what we heard at the last meeting. Look, wanted to look at options, and it's an ongoing conversation. And actual colors will be talked about with the building committee, and we'll look at actual paint samples in daylight, and you know, mock up boards. To really get make sure we get this. Dan, you're speechless. Well, I, I um, I the, to me the green works. Uh, the 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 white works the green works i don't think the other two work you don't you don't crazy about the blue one no not really yeah that's that's fine i mean i think it shows an option did you guys all it like doesn't... the did you guys all like the blue the i like green the green was... yeah and i green. thought the the the, the off white was good too um, i mean I, but... I mean i mean I, my favorite is my preferred is the white but um and I think I think we heard we had support for that as well at, the, at our last meeting. But I think that this is a this is a valid option. That wouldn't be that would be you know wouldn't think, be the end of the world. You know, I do think you should stick to your theme. You know that you know it, traditionally in New England uh, in the last two hundred years, you know, municipal buildings were whitewashed in this area. Well, yeah, especially the wood framed meeting houses. They're all white. They weren't always, but they are now. <laughs> Charles, did you want to include that inspiration image before this? Um, or? I don't know. What, what do people think about that? Um, I can find it. Let's did you did you put it. up the image that shows the two roof lines in tandem? Oh no, well that that's right. We'll get that one. We'll get that. I really think that helps tie the two buildings together. We had talked yeah. about that last yeah, time. Yeah, yep, and actually that's included in the minutes and we can talk about, yeah, and that, and that sort of helps talk about the conversation of why the asymmetrical roof and, and the rationale behind that in terms of the solar, supporting the solar roof and looks good. Tim, are you expecting a big crowd next week? Christopher, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that we get different people, yeah. that we don't have the same people coming back because then it'll be more of a, you know, fisticuffs kind of thing. Well, we're going to come <laughs> in here and say nasty things. And yeah, because yeah, well, they were kind of restrained. I was surprised. I think that they, I think that they, I think it's hard. I think it's hard to um, go against a project that improves the town that doesn't affect the tax rate directly. Right. It only affects the tax rate indirectly. 
Yeah. I'm having yeah. A... Sorry. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding that that image. image. I know it's here. Yeah. Karen, do you know where it is? You know where I put that? <laughs> <laughs> Now, be honest, Karen. How often does that happen? <laughs> hey, that, it happens more often as we get older. <laughs> I know. In my house, it's <laughs> um, yeah. I do not. We're gonna have to. We'll have to dig it up. Um, okay. it's, it was in one of our. It was included in one of our meetings. Yeah. Well, the finance committee went pretty well. Oh, good. They have some good questions for you, Dan. I was kind of late uh, to the to the party, but it, it seemed to me as though they there was one gentleman that uh, voted no, um, but the rest of them pretty much understood. The, the you know this is a great way to take care of a building that we can't afford to take care of yeah they yeah, got into yeah. a little bit of a debate tim about what to do with the existing building you mean the town hall that we're sitting in now yeah, yeah the old right. the old school yeah that's the the worry i have is that people are going to try to decide what happens three three steps from down the road and and try to interfere with what's happening now so I just think that you you commit as a board of selectmen to a repurpose committee. Yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good way to. Oh, you did find the image screen. So this is that this is the uh, the image. Is it? Yeah. And, um, I'm I'm happy to include this. As, no, um, that's not the image I was talking about, Charles. What's not? About, you had a picture uh, uh, of an angle. Closer to the north, almost uh, almost looking, uh, standing in the north, but looking oh. southeast. That oh yeah, no encapsulates I'll, I'll, I'll... encapsulates both roof lines, really tying the two buildings together, which does not come across it with the color. Right. No, we'll get that. But the, but is the, is, the, is the meaning half image showing up here on your screen? It yeah. is. Yeah, so that was so that so that was the inspiration image. Is, so is that a clabbered sided building or is it yeah. and it's clabbered. It's a, yeah, a tight well clabbered with you know these typical volume. sort of Greek revival kind of Eve returns and five over four windows. Well these are like well, these are five, like 12, five. 12, twelve these are these are twenty over twenty over twenties. 16 over 16 or 20 over 20. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing that. I was thinking five by four. Yeah. I've never seen you, a, so, a building like that. Do you, should we include this in the presentation? Greg, right, what do you think? Because it's, you're new to the, I, I mean, my only question is the, uh, there were comments at the last meeting about the, the white of the, um, surrounding buildings the buildings in the background which are you know kind of all whited out um i don't know if you can tone those down a little bit um in, in terms of when you because you soften the white which i think looks great it, it really kind of draws your eye to the old building which i think was sort of your plan um, right so not detracting from the old building which i i think is the right idea i really like that i, I like the the off the off white but set against the the bright white in the back still is is sort of detracting from that well the, so one yeah that's a good point i mean one thing is that these roofs are not white these the roofs on the existing building gray it's I, I, like a I, slate yeah i think what he's trying to say is see if you see if you can't import an image of what's really there or, or i mean even like, it has a blocked out white you're going to have to tone it down so it fades to background and not figural. Right, exactly. And and, and I think getting a, a gray tone on the roofs would help. I, I think it, you know, the, the tone you have here, I think 
works to alleviate some of the uh, the brightness that we had comments on last time. And I think, you know, but and it also, I think, improves your case in terms of drawing your eye to the red of the old building, which I think is great. Because I All think right, it works. So even okay, if you well, just uniform, go ahead, sorry. Even if you had a uniform color that wasn't white, stark white for the church building, um, it would be better than, you know, because what was happening is that the white from the new construction was blending into the white from the back construction. That's, this yeah, you can sort of see it here when you get the contrast. Yeah. Oh, the that's green, a good the point. Green, green complements the red, but it, does, it I think it doesn't draw your attention to the red the way the, the off-white does, which I, I think was your idea. Right, exactly. Yeah. I also think I also think the detailing of the building will be more acceptable um, if you have a more defined church building in the background. You're going to find that the two buildings complement each other. Yeah, and that the campus right. is truly becoming a campus with the figural with the figural uh, uh, monument being the 1888. Well, you know, I'm happy to go out there and take a snapshot from this angle and see if we can. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think, I think this it, rendering. I think it would help. I really do. Yeah, I could. Uh, we could probably do that. Um, that's that's kind of. Uh, we could take one this afternoon, or just after this meeting, I could take one and send you various copies, and you know. Okay, sure. Talk. Yeah, I mean, yeah. See if you can just. Position yourself out there so that you yeah. know you well. You know, you know yeah, exactly. You, you, well, need you need to position yourself out there so that you get the 1888 building in the right angle, I'll, like I'll that my, angle right there, so that the rest of it will shots fly. like every ten every ten feet. I'll walk up and yeah. down so that I can give you some various angles, and hopefully one of them is going to fit. All right, great. And you know, we can always hop out there Monday morning. I'm away this weekend, but or, or Karen is right there, so yep. we can if, we'll we'll look at your images, Tim, and if uh, if if we can't yeah. get one, if, or if you know we think we we need something different, we'll we'll go, we can still go sure. out there and get it. Yep. we have a ton of photos, but none that are quite right. Yep. and um, as far as the the old building, I mean, I realize that that was an inspiration for you guys, but it's just going to open up. Well, what about Clabbers? You know, and so. We've already said our inspiration is the old New England meeting house, and uh, we'll stick to that. But I, 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 will, I agree with you, Tim. I think that uh, showing Clabberts is going to draw them to Clabberts. And those Clabberts aren't even today's Clabberts. Those are tight Clabberts, which are, you know, twice as many Clabberts. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, everybody has their kind of like personal image. New England meeting house. I think that having sort of the imagination guide that leaves it a little more flexible than having an image up there. Any, any negativity in town? Um, I, I think that there's probably more, there's probably more division about the senior housing project, which is, doesn't have any real pictures and, and it's not even about, it's about a land being able to, 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 to sell land so senior housing can be built. I think that's the one that's going to be more controversial. And every board that's reviewed this plan has said that we should do it. And, you know, to the extent that the finance committee convinces people or the planning board or the capital yeah. improvement. Julie was, Julie was a, a champion. I know she is. And she helped work on the earlier iteration of this when, when we did the first phase. And, um, you know, so, as long as the numbers, I think that she was just waiting for the numbers to look right to her uh, before she threw her hat in the ring this time. But um, so you guys have done a great job. All righty. Well, I guess we'll see you next week. Thanks. Yeah. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening. Are Chris, you going to share your final deck with us before? Yeah, like, we'll send it over. Please make sure you have that angle showing the two roofs. I really think it helps your case, Charles. Sure thing, of yeah. The, of the uh, architectural differences between the old and the new. It's not just color. You are tying in those angles, and it really does pop in that slide. Yeah, we'll get that for sure. 
that was one of your schematic drawings, right? It wasn't one that had color in it. I, I don't remember being fully populated. No, it wasn't. It was just one of the black and white line drawings, whatever you call those things, because um, it really showed the roof line lining up perfectly. It was really a like, wow, I, I never noticed that. And, or yeah. maybe it was one. Uh, that one. That, that's yeah, the one. Because it's like, oh wow, look at that. And it also shows. I think that if you take that with the Revit model you've already made, Charles, and kind of rotate to get a little yeah. bit of the face of the north mm -hmm. uh, uh, roof on there, I think you're gonna. Uh, I think you're gonna see a really nice plane to plane transition there. Okay. Yeah, we'll, 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 we can do that. We can, we can also do a rendered elevation, this view, which is, which, so you get the direct sort of front I, on I think, look. I mean, I don't know how, how developed your Revit model is, but I can tell you that the average person likes to see 3D over 2D. Yeah, well, we can definitely do that. Great. Okay. That's the end of it. Well, uh, we should talk about if we want to set a meeting between now and special town meeting. So special town meeting is on Monday the 7th at 7 p.m. I don't know if there's a need for the committee to meet in between, but, you know. Yeah. So we're not. I think the only, th the only thing I think that uh, might be helpful is if we met at like 5 o'clock on the day of the special town meeting just to go over who's presenting what and how and uh, are we or, or not presenting or, you know, who, who's handling all of that, who, the roles and responsibilities. So maybe that's just the project team then and not actually the advisory committee. Um, and yes. again, we're still figuring out who's going to be allowed to speak by the moderator right at the beginning of the meeting. Um, right. Yeah. So, no, but that sounds like a plan. So we'll try to, Touch base on that Monday, October seventh. So you, you you know your town. I think I think they want to hear from you guys before they want to hear from us. Uh, but I think they're they always seem to have been accepting of having us answer questions. But they right. want that presentation done by the by the by the uh, volunteers. So yeah, the last. I, go ahead, Charles. I was going to say that the last time we the last time we talked about this, I, I thought I remember hearing it. That the uh, the the design team wasn't going to make the presentation, but the, right. It does it make I, sense. I, I don't know what Dan Graves will allow or wants to allow, and we need to nail that down because we typically don't do presentations at these meetings. But however, doesn't mean we shouldn't. Um, and so, Christopher, well, maybe, and I, maybe maybe you use that to advantage and not do a presentation. And you know, only present information on the answering of a question because a lot of the people that are coming to town meeting, this will be the first time they see it, and there might be a little culture shock there. Right. I, I actually think that a lot of there's going to be a lot of uh, civic engagement from various points about the projects, and um, so there will be people coming with a fair amount of knowledge of this, um, and it's the money. And the fact that that's not going to hurt the tax rate, that's going to be key to a lot of people's opinions about this and say, look, right now we have an empty building. You know, we're going to, at the end of this, we're going to have a thoroughly modern milli. You know, it's going to be perfectly all the electrical, the plumbing, the HVAC, right. all new. Our, our, our employees will have a nice new place to work in that's safe and, and uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, I, did, I did ask Charles to put together what it would cost to run the building. Yeah. Uh, just rough. I'm, not, I'm yeah. not I'm not sure how to do that, Dan. Um, well, get your engineer to give us a cost per square foot to run the building. So um, he, he should be able to do that uh, based on the HVAC system. It's not going to be exact, but if the question's asked and we can't answer that question, it's it's a it's a potential death knell. It's 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 fine if we can see it and say we're you know we're approximating that utility usage on the building is going to be you know fourteen hundred and eighty two dollars and sixty two cents. Boom, sit down. Because someone will ask that question. 
Yeah, the thing about it is that we are in a time where any new construction, no matter what, you're going to end up with a much higher electric electric bill to run it because you got all this new stuff about moving air in and out of buildings that draws electricity. So we're in this transition period where we never used to think about energy usage and we could care less about it to now we have to because the code is saying this. So yeah, you're right. Having having a good answer is a good good thing. Yeah, we need to have a good answer for that. And you, you are absolutely right, Tim. It is uh, fresh air makeup that causes the energy usage. The right. You know, the lighting, the lighting in this building is cheaper than it would have been if it was the old building. Um, right. But the the change of air, which never occurred in the building, uh, right. costs a lot of money, and and yeah. and, that, and that's the expense. Yeah. And all yeah. electric. Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say all electric heat pump. Uh, heating and cooling, it's probably a little bit more expensive than fossil fuels right now. That's why that the, the PV will do some offset, but that's a reality. Right. But you got to look at that. You could look at what it takes to heat that building with oil. If you want to compare, yeah, you don't want to do that because it's a lot lower. It is. Yeah, yeah. it's lower on a cost. The the VRF is the most efficient way. <laughs> to do this with by therm. Unfortunately, in our area of the world, the cost of electricity by therm is so far greater than fossil. It, it, it's it's pathetic. It, everywhere else in the country, the electric rates are a lot lower. They're not here. Um, but, but to create the therm, VRF is the most efficient way to do it, other than, you know, pure... Uh, you know, wind technology or tidal or something else. That's mm -hmm. 100% renewable. Yeah, well, if we have some sort of answer, and also it's like, well, this is an entirely new building and you can't compare the energy usage in the old building to the new building because they're just not the same. But because of the... You know, all, you the do is give, all you do is give them the number and sit down. Well, if we have a number, if the number is five thousand for this building, I'm just making it up, and seventy thousand for that building. Yeah, it's not people... seventy thousand. I'm guessing it's going to be around fifteen, sixteen thousand to run that building. If I had to guess, mm -hmm. but I, I, I honestly, I, I, I would think your engineers, Charles, seriously, can napkin figure that out. I don't even know if we have an energy cost for running this building. Not, I mean, not just. We'd that. have to ask somebody about it. it with Diane, right? right? She doesn't have a way to break that stuff out yet. So. But you have, you have gas there, right? You got gas and oil. Yeah. I I think it's a dual fuel, um, you know. So, in theory, you could turn one off and turn the other one on. Yeah, they did the, they did the dual fuels when the gas company didn't have the capacity, and they would call you to change to oil and you got to discount your gas service. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um, do we want, I think typically the finance committee posts that they they are have the ability to have a meeting before the special town meeting. And so maybe we could do the same thing for this. We could just post it saying if needed. Sure. You know, yeah. and that way at five o'clock, if. We want to if you guys don't use. like the slide deck or something's wrong and you're getting a little, uh, you know how it is right before town meeting, everyone gets a little crazy yeah. in every town and every board. There's no exception. <laughs> so let's make sure we're all calm and we all know what we're going to do. Absolutely. That's why I got the 1888 before the senior housing question. Smart move. <laughs> All right. Because they'll right. be cranky after senior housing. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. everyone. All right. Thanks, all. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Right. Bye. Bye.